guys, Fatorot, Quick Air Canal, YouTube, Agos, Nadine, Dermed, Ismalat, Agos, Listal. You do the last line. No, 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 you can do it. You're doing great. Oh, you do it. You, you can do it. Do it. You You're do doing it. fantastic. Oh. Go on, say it. Oh, go on, you got it. Go on, it. it's right there. Look at it. Rope for you, though. Nogla, Iraq, you say. No, 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 N Neil. Ryan Michael Hanby, Iraq. Ryan Michael Hanby, Iraq. <laughs> Iraq. Iraq. <laughs> Iraq. Iraq. <laughs> the third feels something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if this is a real or a fake screenshot, but uh, comment there from Mini Lad, stay away from Pablo, he's bad news. And then Spike Nut follows it up three months ago with a timestamp based on a true story. So that's something you would see on like iFunny. <laughs> but that's the first one. What a start. Thanks, everybody. What a banger. Uh, you remember this game? This game was fun, to be honest. Yeah, where you hid like a hiding like a little bitch. Oh, Trima. Oh, yeah, I see it. Don't let him. <laughs> this guy wants to be a teacher. Looking a bit like Pablo yourself at the tree. Yeah, that was a that was a Pablo moment for sure. I'm glad it was never fulfilled. <laughs> I wouldn't be here now. Sure content. Are we over 18? What age are you, Brian? What age are you? I think you're older than me, actually. I am mentally and physically. That means gonna you're gonna die first. You're talking shit, but you're gonna. That means you're gonna die first. Good. Sooner the better. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm over 18. <laughs> Stop ready for this. Oh la la. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 your tinky winky feels so good. <laughs> All right, okay. Hey there, folks. So I was recently reminded of a monthly subscription that I never use. And I thought to myself, these monthly subscriptions, they're hard to keep track of. I wish there was a better way. And today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is exactly how. Rocket Money is the personal finance app that helps you cancel your subscriptions, lower your bills, and manage your money better. Using Rocket Money to cancel those pesky subscriptions is a massive game changer. With just a few taps on my phone, Rocket Money identifies identifies those reoccurring charges and even handles the cancellation process for me. Rocket Money also helps lower your bills effortlessly. Just snap a photo of your bill, tap a few buttons and let Rocket Money work its magic. It negotiates with service providers on your behalf, saving both time and money. Plus, with its budgeting feature, you can easily track your spending and stay on top of your finances. So if you're ready to kiss those unnecessary expenses and annoying subscriptions away, then use our code in the top of the description and try it out for free. Rocket Money has helped save its customers up to $740 a year with over 500 million dollars in cancelled subscriptions. Head over to rocketmoney.com slash NTR or simply click that link in the top of our description to get started today. Save more, spend less, join the over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. So go to rocketmoney.com slash NTR, link in the top of the description, pin comment. They've got a premium offer there as well that increases the features too and I hope you enjoy. Apparently they stole Vanessa's video. Jojo Mume wants to be just like Father Owl. He's badass <laughs> father owl i would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you powerpuff girls he does not give a hoot i know what i'm doing he was talking about the people sitting next to us and he copies what he's doing eventually they laugh hey maybe you shouldn't do that you shouldn't do what oh my god this is why i hate vtubers this is why breastfeeding should be illegal past the age of 16. this is just weird behavior every time i encounter weird people i say they're breastfed up until too late of an age and it Fuck their brain. It only has 64 dislikes and 15,000 likes. Clearly, it's quite popular. People quite enjoy it. Do you know what? This is why China is going to destroy America when it comes to a war. What is going on? Everyone loves it. Everybody loves it. I, for one, welcome our VTuber overlord content creators. I keep playing. I need to understand this. Look at her go, he said, as she walks right by. What? People were talking a bit loud and they were laughing. <laughs> Do you hear that? They're very loud. Everything about this screams, I have a Discord boyfriend and Discord girlfriend. At the same time. Yeah. I imagine the guys that like meow and stuff are not. Th that's what this is. This is everything that I am concerned about the human race. I would love to see Vanos genuinely record with the girl VTubers that do the uwu voice. Just put yeah. Vanos in a lobby full of them. See if he survives. You're like a dad teaching a oh, kid dear. with no fucking mobility in his legs on a tricycle. What so much pushing him? Well, you know, the animations the aren't too bad. Out. Do you remember? how my aunt did that and what you said. I don't remember that. Okay. 
Later, he texted me. I'll try to be more quiet. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be a story. Is this AI? Is this AI generated? Like you know, script wise. I feel like this is absolute jargon. That just moves on. One thing I do like is is that the Mojo Jojo from Powerpuff Girls hat on the main character? Yeah, yeah, I that's the villain. That. I fucking loved Powerpuff Girls. Great, <laughs> it was amazing. See, right? <laughs> Lots of VTubers love Powerpuff Girls as well. No, New common no, no, ground, no. Brian. Once upon a time, you said you wouldn't play Minecraft. Now you're a Minecraft streamer. Opening up a channel with me was definitely out of the picture and now you're shitting on vtubers what about if you got a vtuber terrorizer made and became a vtuber streamer when, when i get older wrinkles and gray start happening i want to make sexy younger terminator yeah, yeah, vtuber perfect, perfect. it'll advance a lot by then why would i do that to your mother <laughs>I hated everything. I hated everything about it. It was just all over the place. My main issue is it just it didn't seem to make much sense. It made no sense. I can't stand the high pitched laughing, yelling. Yeah, like, <laughs> like it's like chalk on nail board for me. It's like chalk on nail board for me. That's just me. I'm too old. I'm too old now. Okay. Yeah, his all ears right? are sensitive. Brian's ears are sensitive. Can't, can't, can't handle that. that. Irish duo. <laughs>
seen already. Sorry, okay. sorry guys. Thank you for warning people. Honestly, there's no a problem. lot of people that need to hear that warning. No problem, because I had that reaction when I first saw it. I, was like, <laughs> and I didn't want you guys to experience that. Oh, here's me once a year. Yeah, speaking of Brian. Rare footage of Brian busting milk in the Mario Kart session. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was one of your finer moments, I will say. I thought you said busting milk. Oh, oh, I need a tissue. I don't know what Brian did. Oh, I was drinking milk and I sneezed. Oh, I need a tissue. I don't know what Brian did, but it sounds dirty. Oh, it just blew my nose. Oh, I could have just laughed at him, busted milk or some shit out of my nose. That was so busted funny. Milk. Busted. Oh, was it Temple Dairy? Oh. <laughs> just, okay, it was me. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I've just busted milk. <laughs> oh, that was, that was yeah, so was funny. Awesome. Yep, that was, that was definitely you, Brian. Damn it. No glass saying the N-word on Battlefield. Okay. Nice, teamwork. Yeah, that was great. I want to go get money, man. Money hoes, money bitches, money bitches. What? What? I didn't hear it. All right, let's play it again. Money, man. Money hoes. Money bitches. Money bitches. Look, you had your hand on the What did soundboard. you say? I said money bitches. Money hoes. Money bitches. Yeah, and the guy just put the N-word text over it thinking, oh, yeah, if the N-word subtitle he means he said it. <laughs> Brian had the finger on the soundboard, ready to go. Money bitches. Bitches. Money bitches. See, it's clearly bitch. Yeah, no, it says bitches. Uh, you were so ready, though. You were so ready. Like, ooh. Another one for my collection. Illyris's face reveal. Wow, we're finally going to see his face, Brian. <laughs> it is me. That's right. I was a shark the whole time! Why does he do this every year? Did he do another one? This is his Emperor Fool's a day ago. Oh, Jesus Christ. Every year he does it. He has to do the face reveal every year. I hope you guys had an awesome Easter. Um, this is what I look like. This is this is 100%. Yeah, I got I got out of my teeth and my eyes. And I can look really angry. <laughs> It's like a creepy kid's channel. Yeah, he's fucking creeping me out. Pika, pika. <laughs> turn it off, turn it off. It's like the VTuber stuff, Brian. You turn love it. Turn it off, bro. I hate it. It's a mental illness. I'd love for the camera to glitch and then it shows his real face. It's like topless and he's got like little man boobies. We gotta hear a Mickey Mouse impression. Come on. Come on. We're gonna get a Mickey Mouse impression. Worst Mickey Mouse accent ever. <laughs> but come to Disneyland, please. We need you. <laughs> That's right, I've been working for Disney this whole time. Oh, Santa. Santa's gonna be a good one. It's me, Santa Lirius. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> you may have seen me flying over Los Santos. Oh, he's a fucking eggplant now. Why can I even turn into this thing? Who was like, oh, I want to be an eggplant? <laughs> you, you fucking pink dick. He straight away saw it. I was like, oh. All right, that you know, is his face reveal. Oh, my God. Which was more painful, that or the VTuber girls? I think VTuber was actually way better. No way. <laughs> VTuber was way better. It had consistent flowing of just like what is this absolute garbage then there's delirious trying to think of jokes on the fly which is <laughs> painful we need that when the girls are over 80. okay i we know all everyone here <laughs> pretty much i don't know any of these people i don't know any of these people at all <laughs> thankfully they're all they're all much older than him, so... Well, there you go, Brian. Is this make you uncomfortable? Is that the pool I peed in? <laughs> it might have been. <laughs> Did we ever tell that story? I'll tell the story. Once upon a time... A galaxy far, far, far yes, away called yes. Los Angeles. The group would very rarely meet and only really meet for two events. And that was PAX in Boston. And that was usually Wildcat and Panda and all them getting blackout drunk and being very gay. And if you didn't want to get blackout drunk and get gay, then you go to Los Angeles for E3. Honestly, it was probably the most members of the group in one location at one time, if I remember correctly. Ever. Ever. And probably ever again. He invited all the guys to go to his house for a party. I didn't go. I don't know why. I probably, probably because I don't like parties. And Brian went because he loves party. And Brian's a big joker if you guys haven't noticed so while at the party everyone's drinking having a grand old time and brian requires the loo now 
He decided maybe the toilets were full. I don't know why. Because big jiggly fucktard busts in front of me through the door and goes straight for the toilet as I'm about to go into the toilet door. There you go. I actually never knew that. That's the first time I've heard yeah. that myself. That little nugget of information. And so he, they went out anyway. Brian, uh, leaving with no other choice because he didn't want to go upstairs, uh, decided to go into the pool. The pee. I did a full on butters where I put all my pants and underwear down around my ankles and lifted up my t shirt like this. And then Smitty comes out the back of the house and finds me, and we're just laughing about it. And after that was done, I think the lad heard about it, or maybe he saw, and decided to consult with his at the time girlfriend who was upstairs not engaging with yeah, anyone she, she was upstairs in bed on her own maybe looked out the window and saw my pale white <laughs> flashbang ass <laughs> ah! get that out of here get that and out so of here they consulted and told brian to leave which i'm sure you kind of understood to be honest yeah. <laughs> i don't think you were protested much you were just like you know what i pissed at his pool <laughs> that's fair enough next day it rolls over not really anything was said if i'm being honest but there was a, a dinner organized for the boa restaurant and it was organized by none other than minilet he was still upset about yesterday so he decided to text everyone in the group except brian have a big uh big dinner together i'm sorry to interject there's one person that really needs acknowledgement and credit for being a true homie when the text message happened someone stood up did something that to me was really touching oh marcel what they do marcel he held his ground and said, why isn't Brian in this chat? And then he said, if Brian's not going, I'm not going. That meant so much oh, to me. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I only found that out after the fact. Because then he came to me saying, what's happening? He was the only person that was keeping me in the loop. And that really shows what kind of person Marcel is. Right, interesting, interesting. But that's some new information as well. I also wasn't in the group chat. Why was I not in that group chat? Because your, your loyalty to me maybe would have been like, he saw you as a potential potential like if i let you in on this information it could cause more problems that i'll rather tell you to the side in a way that you mightn't cause as much issues until you're already at the restaurant and it's too late to do something yes that sounds about right that sounds like something he would do but either way we went there we sat down we noticed brian wasn't there i think marcel still went to the dinner he did he did yeah. reason being i told him to go he came to me told me and i yeah. said look I love you for what you just did. I appreciate it, but go. And then I remember texting you, like, where are you at? And you, you just replied, I'm at the hotel. Like, <laughs> why? Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, I wasn't too bothered about it. Like, I was upset about it, but I knew it was so petty that I was like, I kind of laughed about it. You know when something's so bonkers, pathetic, yeah. you don't get mad about it, you're just kind of like, that says more about you. It was it was a short enough dinner, it wasn't crazy long, and then everyone uh, everyone went out after the dinner and I just went home. I think I met up with them after the dinner thing. Yeah. Then he tried to do the whole kind of, hey, and I was like, fuck off. Was that where the dog conversation happened as well? Was that the same day? I think it could have been, it could have been the same, yeah, I think it was. Genie, what a day that was. That day needs to be written in history. <laughs> it was, day. yeah. It needs to be in a Vanos museum. That whole day yeah. needs to be documented from 20 different witnesses. It was in 3VD's office, right beside the lift. I remember it was right by the lift office. Well, folks, there you go. That was the behind the scenes story of the beginning of the end. But like, the thing was, I yeah. was like, at first I was like telling people, oh yeah, I pretended to pee in the pool. Because it, was, it wasn't a great thing to do. Yeah, you did tell me you pretended. I did. I lied. I would put my hands up and say, I lied. And now I can proudly say, I pissed in that motherfucker's pool. <laughs> I happily peed. All right. It's got chlorine. Like, I'm the first person in it ever to piss in his poo. All right, so you lied to me is what I'm hearing. I did. I did, David. I lied to you. I'm sorry. Okay, I lied. Terrorizer is a liar. There's your thumbnail. There's your title. Oh, we're on to my Reddit now. Yeah, we're on Brian's Reddit. How hard are you guys? <laughs> is that the Titanic? Yeah, bro. That's the Titanic. Oh, no. The joke is the cargo ship lost power and hit a bridge in Baltimore. The ship completely destroyed the bridge. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, oh, I swore, bro. I swore that was the Titanic with cargo freights on. <laughs> Uh, the Vanos crew gay chair. Okay, let, let me let me guess where I am. I haven't seen it. What's the graph? Gay? What's the X and Y axis? It goes top, bottom, and then dom and sub. I don't know what dom and sub are. Dominant or submissive? Wouldn't the bottom be... A bottom... A bottom, no, a bottom can still be dominant if you're grabbing it from by the throat. Okay, all right, just make your guess. My guess, they'll put me as like a, a, a bottom sub. You're actually bottom dom. That's about right with me grabbing the throat. <laughs> look, look at Brock, <laughs> top dom. Brock in the top right. <laughs> look at that beautiful bastard. They put me top left. You're top submissive. <laughs> <laughs> and then look 
a Scotty because he gets he's the sub he's bottom. Sub bottom. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. No less gaming channel in a nutshell. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. It's, it's kind of gone full circle now. Now it's Brian's up here, Evan's here, and Louis in the bottom. <laughs> but then it's gonna go around again. Louis gonna be at top next week. And then it's gonna be Brian, and then it's Thanos. And next time you ask me to play something, I'm gonna be reluctant now. Now that I know what's going on. I'm part of your little fucking cycle. The gaming channel he used to pay me for. Now he's trying to sneak in fucking freebies to then put my name in the title, name in the channel name. Brian the savage businessman here, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're doing, little snake. I'm not doing nothing, man. It's only a bit of memes. Look, it's a mm. fun meme, mm. man. It's a fun meme. Just have a bit of fun, would ya? Changing channel names faster than Pierre Gasly down shift I guess he's very fast at downshifting. <laughs> is that impressive? Louis Van der Brian, Louis Van der Brian, Louis Van der Brian. Is that impressive? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's good downshifting. Okay, okay. <laughs> Vamos, andale! Viva la Mexico! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I was so excited. All right. I was so excited. I was so excited. I thought we're going to have a nice little, you know, mariachi band kind of little, you know, and then you ruined it. My brother did put a note. A lot of old shit Nazi memes on top, not including them. Sorry, they're stale and we need to encourage something new. I'm sure you agree. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So we're not reacting to them anymore. We're not rewarding them anymore. We're sorry. We're moving on. Ah, nice. That's good. That's good, yeah, Art. It's cool. Thank you very much. E underscore Spectre 07. Thank you. What's he telling him? <laughs> this is this is obviously recreating the whole... Yeah, all right. Um, they have footage of you pissing in the pool, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he did indeed see your ass on the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good template, guys. That one and the other one of Nogla doing with the eyes, with the glasses. Yeah, very good. Very good. Great potential. Go to work. Yes, Go yes. Work. This is much better, lads. This is what we're talking about. Mr. Handjob beating juice has passed away. Oh. That, will, that will destroy me. Oh, I'm just I'm just going to leave you alone that whole day. The day Beetlejuice dies, I'm not even going to message you, man. I'm going to just leave you alone. Top five worst Thanos crew members. Oh, here we go. This is going to be good. Let's go. I love how honorable was spelt wrong. It made the shit post even better. <laughs> it made it even better. Hana, Hana Rambar. Yeah, there's an Asian accent in there. Oh my lord. Saw this on Instagram. Oh, why wouldn't you jump over the top and go to the secret? Baring. And this is why Brian's on Instagram. This is yeah. some Brian Ted <laughs> shit right These here. These are the noises the people I was renting with when I started off doing YouTube were hearing from my room at like one in the morning. I think they were happier than anyone else that you became successful. He has to leave. He yeah. has to leave. <laughs> Please, God. Whatever you need to do to make him leave. Boom, bunch of views. Let's go. He's gone. Well, I guess we're reacting to it again. I'm so in sync with my voice. Are you Today wearing a... we're joined by... Shut up, I'm talking here, okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you are ready that time. Yeah, he's ready that time, guys. Uh... 
<laughs> that was his beep, not the editor's. That was Brian's. We already reacted to this like Monday or something like that. <sighs> yeah. But, uh, and Brian, Brian didn't record for 30 minutes straight. I was recording. It just wasn't recording the right screen. Yeah. Yeah. But looky me, Team Nogla had that ready to be done again. Collected. Good job. Good job. Thanks, bro. guys. Where's Nogla saying like, wait, wait, we, we actually did. I yeah, guess we, we kind of did. A lot, we actually. Did. Yeah, actually. To be fair. All right, here we go. Yeah, we reacted to this too. Tragic news and thousands in mourning as YouTuber Keemstar has been found alive, healthy, and well in his home in Buffalo, New York this morning. Brian had a sad, good sad chuckle. News. A good chuckle when he saw I that. love this. Yeah, loved it. But it's lost forever. This is a Clyde post. This is a Clyde post, for sure. 100% Brian, editor Clyde, probably created oh, this no. incognito. I think Clyde might be Dapper Drawer 6319. Oh God. That was <laughs> fucked, bro. That was fucked. Douglas said, what? Oh my gosh, dude. Maybe I shouldn't have my brother researching Reddit. Nah, I'm pretty sure this is the sync episode. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's a couple of miners over here. Let's check those out. Yes, we're doing it. All right. You gotta turn on the miner. Oh, 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 man. Oh, every day it gets harder to do this channel. It's all balanced out now. I'll yeah. take my, my clip now, happily. Banner's crew playing hole-in-one golfing. Terrorizer sitting at the hole. I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move. Do we even keep collision on anymore? Yeah, we do. No, we should. It should always be kept on. You not remember the Moose Knuckle clip? Oh, it's a classic. Can we just show them? All right. <laughs> he is already I totally angry. agree with you, Anthony. I totally no, agree with you. No, no. I landed right here. Get off that fucking ramp. Yeah, you fucking bitch. No, fuck don't you. <gasps> I'm gonna go get That's a fucking it? sucker. I hate shit. you with every fiber of my being. <laughs> G5 out <laughs> Who's doing that? <laughs> I'm gonna guess the guy that's sitting next to the whole knob. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, that was Fuck. you. Go that was you who's raging. Wait, is it me? Yeah, it was you that raged. We all thought it was Brock. Brock just texted me, I hate you. There's a lot of people angry in this clip. A little less than that, Brock. Finally, this is the one. Oh. So close, there you go. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Oh, wow. God damn it. That was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that was it. That's the one right there. That's the pro gamer move. Oh, here we go, Brian. This should be spicy. Enough. Brian, when he decided to tweet out Lene's joke, even though he knows it's risky to do so. What is that about? Amber Heard. Oh, the Amber Heard joke. Okay, all right. <laughs> it did! <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was only bad. <laughs> I remember this week going crazy. <laughs> the reports from Germany. Report, report, report. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They were so mad. It was this beautiful. Honestly, these are very accurate. Very accurate. All the QRTs. <laughs> Bro, that tweet popped off. It was actually amazing. Could you imagine if I had my phone with like alerts for like each tweet? Well, the battery would be drained. I think everyone would be drained. <laughs> no offense. I think the fact that you just sit on your computer, record our stream, and then get off and barely look at anything once you're off is probably better for everybody. <laughs> so Twitter would be crazy if you were addicted to that shit. <laughs> Someone tweeted this on me. Green screen mobile. It's so <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it's so good. I would love if GTA allowed you to do this. GTA 6, baby, who knows? That would be fucking fantastic. <laughs> it's such a good one. Evan and Delirious in there. You can see those two idiots driving this like. <laughs> <laughs> they would love it. Oh, that great. Bad memes today. Nothing like the man loose inside this building. What are you, president of his fan club? <laughs> no. That would be your mother. 
Holy <laughs> Lord, documentation. Lou and Nogla's mom? What the fuck? Indeed. And now he's here to f us. So listen up, boy. Or pornography starring your mother will be the second worst thing that happens to you today. Oh. <laughs> was that actually in the game? That was in the game, but it's like, for those that don't know, Nogla had a woman sticker in his attack plan, and Brock just goes, Oh, you put your mom on the front. Later, the gang chased him down because Vanus quoted that. He, Brock, did the thing with his. What? What? Nogla? Yeah. There's a rumor going around. What? That early bird fucked your mom. What? Oh, what? oh he shit. He came early. Wow! Oh shit! Murder him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, let's get his ass! Oh, get me! Oh, get no you. one prematurely you ejaculates with your mom, Nogla! No one! That's right! Not even early bird! <laughs> Not even early Where's bird! Early bird? Oh, when they say jokes, oh, it's fine. When Brian says one or two your mom jokes. Oh. Oh, I see. See where I stand. September 5th, 2017? And they did a whole ass edit with this. <laughs> Seven years later! Seven years later, they pulled this shit! Look what they fucking did seven years later. That would be your mother. Wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm speechless, like. I love it. Great work, everyone. Oh, here's the drama. But her big mad, you know, you the, you the tweet that made everyone big mad? So did Tyler. You're not the only one. Jenny talks about just the problem of eight to nine hours working Monday to Friday and going home to have four hours to do chores and food and get ready and yada yada, right? Kind of a nothing burger tweet, really. It's just venting about stuff. I don't know why he even felt compelled. Working 40 hours a week gives you 72 hours of free time per week while getting a full eight hours each night. Y'all just suck at time management and think life should be Infinite music festivals while society magically runs itself in the background. This is such a dad fucking tweet. This is such a boomer dad tweet. <laughs> it gives you lots of time to watch the NFL. <laughs> you got a woman, right? She can cook and clean and do everything. You just go home, eat your dinner, and watch the NFL. You just imagine him and his dad around a campfire with their Bud Lights. Yeah. That's a great tweet, son. Send it. Why be all mad? <laughs> Don't worry. They're just a bunch of bitches. I think it was an interesting message portrayed in an interesting way but most definitely a not interested audience <laughs> the, the people who are reading this tweet do not want to hear this tweet <laughs> these people are like uh, worlds apart the top are like Brian said mindset if you got a broken leg you get out there you fucking work your ass the bottom is like ah so many problems that I begin <laughs> Life is so hard. Yeah, and sometimes that's true, and sometimes the other is true. But, you know, Twitter's just like super black and white. Yeah, Twitter's made for people not to agree on things. Uh, yeah, you follow up with an Instagram story. Working your life away sucks. Working 40 hours a week isn't working your life away. Sorry, not sorry. Also, at no point in my tweet that I say what I do is harder. I wouldn't trade this shit for anything. Yeah, because it's a piss easy job. It's a piss easy yeah, job. It's like, just take that 40 and just put it down to pretty much zero. <laughs> Yeah. Cause, you do, Cause we play video games for a living. But um, like, if you think historically, we shouldn't really have it that bad. It's like, if you go back far enough, Brian, oh, those Irish anyway. Peasants walking fucking from the break of dawn till the second the cows go to sleep like, you know what I mean? Their peasant life was not fun. And that probably wasn't that long ago for Irish people anyway. No, so, early 1900s. Yeah, so it's like, I, like my mother grew up and had to share a bed with six of our siblings in a tiny ass cottage. Like, yeah. Like one bathroom and I think two rooms. I don't. I don't even know. Maybe three. There's ten kids in my mom's family. So like, yeah. So it's, it's like it's it's not that far away where people had a life incredibly more difficult than now. Then people going on their mobile phone or iPad complaining about how their life is so hard, even though there's kids in Africa dying to fucking Ebola. And you know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's a first world problem, but at the same time, like I get it. You know the way you made the joke that I just walk away from the internet. This is exactly why you live on the internet. And you just become so invested. In it. I just go outside. To go to the gym, go for a drive. Life is beautiful out there. Not on this fucking phone. Yeah. Where you're complaining. You're you're it's just basically an echo chamber. And then unfortunately in your echo chamber, there's a lot of other people that also have their own voices, and then you're just gonna fight. You're just gonna fight. Yeah. I, I my, you're just gonna you're never gonna agree with other people on the internet. I do think the complaints are increasing, and a lot of them are pretty valid because if you do work eight to nine hours a day, that's yeah. not including commuting, and traffic is pretty bad. If you've got kids, that's painful. That's so difficult. Your kids are 
gone away from you for so long. Really hard to connect to your children with a very short amount of time. Two parents have to work. Childcare costs are pretty high. Like schooling is crazy in America unless you go public, but that depends where you live. But my, my biggest issue is like when someone is genuinely working hard, like eight to nine, five, eight to nine hours a day, five days a week, it's when they can't pay their bills after doing that. Like if someone's being sensible, doing the right thing and, you know, helping others with whatever they've got going on and they can't pay their bills and they're struggling, that's when it's an issue. But if it's some girl in a tech company that has three coffee breaks, you know, realistically is very replaceable by AI. <laughs> complaining he's just using a girl as a reference it's just just an example it's a very good example why do you think there's so many tech layoffs not just with women men as well he's talking about ai uh, women are worse though okay all right i tried i tried to solve this <laughs> yeah. uh, what i'm saying is i'm imagining this girl is on the younger side hash jenny well let's have a fucking look like yeah you're hella young yeah bro you're so young you're an influencer she's a social media influencer but she can't Okay, it, that that can't be a genuine complaint. All right, okay, yeah. So what I would say is when I was doing IT, you're going to work your ass off working long hours. Instead of working for the man, your goal should be working to become the man, that you work for yourself, you have your own company and everything, and you can set your own limitations and, and you know what I mean, your own work hours. You're not always going to be in that position from the offset. You're going to have to work and struggle and grind to get to that point. That's why Nogla and I are in this position where we have editors, where we didn't. Nogla will be up till, you know, four in the morning editing in Ireland, and same as me, and then you work work and you grind and then you get to that position where you're able to then put money into saving time. I don't think this girl's Twitter should be the Twitter that's making this tweet <laughs> about the eight to nine hours a day. This girl should not be the one making the tweet. In fact, no one could genuinely make this tweet if they have this problem because they're too fucking busy. Look, there's a lot of issues in society and this is going to solve absolutely zero of them. Nothing. <laughs> and same with Brian and I's conversation. We'll solve absolutely zero, folks. But my God, should she not be making that fucking tweet? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he pooted. Oh, uh, he pooted. <laughs> he pooted. He pooted. I'll save you. Oh. <gasps> 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 And that Beavis. What did Beavis do? <laughs> he was just sitting there quietly waiting. Like, hmm, I got this. Now do the voice. <laughs> I, I love this. This is so scuff funny. I like the derpier animations. There's that little face that got you good. <laughs> the Beavis man <laughs> Yeah, it is. <laughs> Vivos. It is just so good. So good. You know what is a really good one as well? The Peter Griffin Panda. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't realize that. <laughs> didn't realize that at all. That was really good. I feel uh, like giving this good. person a hundred dollars. I think the two animators are gonna get a hundred bucks. I gotta hunt this one down though. The Oscar streaker. Oh my John Cena? You're John Cena, you're the streaker. What is going on? What That's is this right. all about? These are just some drawings Galactic Tiger did, the animator. Sadly, I fell asleep on the plane. What image is that from? It's just a meme, but they drew me drooling, <laughs> sleeping on a plane. It's exactly how I sleep on a plane. And then Masso behind calling me a king. These are great. So where Brian? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so temporarily good. Temporarily closed. closed. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Oh, this is so good. Are there reviews? Oh, 29 reviews, and one of them was like, my vegan sandwich tasted very tasted meaty. Like, <laughs> tasted like bars. Ah, so yeah. I think they've got some more. Should have never smoked that shit. Now I'm at SpongeBob's house. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is the type of shit Evan would actually like. He likes this scuffed, druggy kind of weird shit. Oh, look at Aww. that. Aww. Come on, there, Vanna. We're gonna go record. What are we doing next, Mr. Vanna? <laughs> the cops. Cops episode? <laughs> yeah, cops uh, episode that where you're jumping so out of. Fun. This is honestly very fitting considering you uploaded a Vanos crew become police or something on your channel. So good. I love that game. And just like that, we've reached the end of the Reddits, folks. That is fantastic. Yeah, work. really? That is so this much week, better. Everybody. That's what we're talking about. Shorav Mila Mahagot. That means thank you very much in Irish. Shorav Mila Mahagot. I said it slowly so you'd understand, Brian. Aye, aye. Gorav Mila Mila Mahagot. How many of you? Goma. 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 Sha.
Sha. That was the all oral Irish exam. Sha. <laughs> I don't know what to say next, so it's my lump chocolate. Hit the end of the video. Like, subscribe, and all the good stuff. Do it.